Another great feature of PC Manager is uh, that it helps you get your render elements into a PC file with the right blending modes and layer order. In this little scene with a bumper car and some street cones, we have already some render elements, diffuse, reflection, shadow, specular, CDEF and self-illumination. And I will now set up PC Manager. Just add it to the z scene and it's already configured. Peace Manager has ar automatically assigned the right blending modes and sorted the layers. So diffuse is at the bottom, specular, shadow, reflection, self illumination on top. And our CDEF channel will be exported as a PST channel. So now if you wanted to we could change anything here uh, like the blending modes or let's say you want to have transparency or a mask uh, we could change this all here and right now we have only some blending modes for the scanline renderer but uh, the system works the same for your V-Ray render elements, final render, mental ray. Uh, there are 116 presets contained inside PC Manager. And if you don't like any of the presets, you can always change the settings and right click and override it with your own settings. So uh, the presets that are built in are only a start for you. But uh, we should get you very far. So, but uh, render elements alone don't uh, help us much. What we need are some selections in addition. So we will use our separated object output uh, and add some selections for the car hood uh, and the floor. Uh, maybe one of the cones here. Uh, the seats. Uh, so uh, for simple objects we don't have to assign any object IDs or material IDs. I will assign a material ID for the material of the street cones. Let's say ID number one, and at it at this ID here in the material effects output, and we also have our new scene layer as output. That shows us all our 3ds max layers and what could be useful is the layer bumper car which is contains all objects of the bumper car uh, and the cones layer uh, which contains all six street cones here so now that we have set up our render elements and our selections we can render our scene So once the render finishes, PSD Manager starts writing out the PSD file, uh, which is pretty fast. And once that is done, we can open the PSD file in Photoshop. I will just right click the Files button, which will open the PSD file we have just written. And here is our nicely set up PSD file containing the render elements, diffuse, specular, using the linear touch blending mode, shadow, reflection, self illumination, and the render on top. Uh, there are some slight differences, uh, which I think is down to this uh, multi-layer shader here, which isn't properly supported, but the point of render elements is anyway uh, that you use them as building block and they don't always resemble 100% your rendering. So this hasn't anything to do with PC Manager, this is just uh, caused by the render elements themselves. 
So we have the selection for our cone, the floor, and the hood of the bumper car. And here's our material ID selection, which is pretty interesting because, as you can see, it not only it only contains the objects themselves, these street cones, but also their reflections. Uh, this floor material is a ray trace material and this has been set to reflect material IDs. So if you here change now the color in the diffuse channel uh, the reflections will not change now because the reflections are actu actually in the refraction and re render element. Okay, I will turn them into red. And now I'll repeat the same for the reflections using the same selection. And you see now it's I will change for reflection until they were match so okay uh what i don't like here is the is the floor because the reflection is pretty strong i could just uh, tone the reflection down but uh, since this is a bumper car course this should actually be really stretched up and so I will just blur the floor select it first and then apply the Gaussian blur filter to the reflection element and uh, we can make this pretty strong and now I have now some nice blurry reflections which would have taken a long time if you would just render them from 3ds Max and here in post it just takes two seconds to add this so uh, let's now change the color of the hood of the bumper car same workflow as you have just seen with the street clones. Uh, let's see, maybe this orange tone. And what I don't, look, don't like here are some of the shadows. Uh, there are some artifacts here and the shadows are a little bit edgy. So we will just smooth the shadows here and here's another area where the shadow map didn't work out how it should and this all just takes a few seconds to change in post and we don't have to re-render anything and once we are pretty much happy with the results uh, I could also change here the shadows of the bumper car maybe also blur it a little bit so much okay so um, now I'm pretty happy with the result and want to add some depth of field uh, I will create a merge copy of the results here and apply a lens blur filter and we will use the CDEV channel we exported as a render element and pick the point where we want the blur to start so maybe a little bit less blur okay so now let's compare our render uh, the strong reflections, harsh shadows and now our post-production result which got us pretty far especially the blue reflections uh, add a lot to this image so as you have now just seen it's pretty easy to 
set up your render elements using PSD Major because of the built-in presets and together with the selections you can change pretty much anything in Photoshop or After Effects whatever application you use to edit your PSD files. Thank you.